What's up, everyone? Welcome to part four, five of my white walkthrough. I am never going to remember which part it is. Okay. Um, jeez, I say okay a lot. I keep doing that. So we're going to heal up our Pokemon now. Tepig and, um, Avocado. I'm just going to say Avocado for now. Or always, because that's his name. I'm going to, um, our next challenge is the Dream Yard. So we're going to go ahead and go there. Why did I do that? Okay, no, bye. Alright, so we're on our way to the Dream Yard where we're going to see our first Team Plasma battle, which I love the Team Plasma battle so much. I mean the music, but also that. We're going to teach Cut to Avocado. Not that one. I don't want work up. No, not work up. Jeez. Okay. We're going to teach Avocado Cut. Um, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Leer is not that good, but Lick isn't that good either. I don't really like Lick that much. But we're going to go ahead and forget. We're going to forget Scratch, actually. Hmm. You know what? No. Bye, Lick. I don't like Lick. Yes. All right. Now we have that one done. So we're going to move on to the thing that Miss Finale told us to do. And there's Bianca. Hello. Now we go in here and she's gonna... Or we have to go over... Okay. And now we are gonna approach this Muna. This part's a little sad because... Here, you guys will find out in a bit. I, I don't want to, like, spoil everything. I'm trying not to. These meanies. I don't like them. I don't like Team Plasma at this point. <laughs> In Black 2, they're okay. But, like... The nice ones, it's it, never mind. Manipulating people's hearts is not very nice. As you can tell, they're kicking Muna, which made me sad. I hate that. I hate, <laughs> I hate seeing Pokemon get hurt. So when I was little and I was like battling, I was kind of sad while battling because my Pokemon were getting hurt and I was hurting the other Pokemon. It was, it was messed up. Oh, this dude's not gonna hurt me. I'm gonna beat him up. He's mean. I love the battle music so much. It's so cool. One of my favorites. Alright. Goodbye, Patrat. You are way under my lead, if that means, if that makes any sense. Alright. Oh yeah, I also like Flame Charge because, like, your speed is uh, raised after you use it, so that is very useful. Not only is it powerful, but it's also, um, it gives you an advantage at the end, so. And obviously that was super easy because Grunts are so easy to beat, seriously, like, <laughs> they're just so easy to beat, like, I don't even worry about Grunt battles. They're only kind of annoying later on, like, when you get, like, attacked by a bunch of them. She's gonna send out her Purloin. Right now, you only see Purloin and, um, Purloin and, you know, Patrat and Lilypup and stuff like that, so, not very interesting. But you will see other ones later on. Flame Charge. I don't even have to use Flame Charge this time because 
tackle would have done the job anyway. <laughs> he, he has like one HP left. She has one HP left. Very easy. You better believe it. Stop that! What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my gosh. He's so mean. See, another reason why Bianca is awesome. And also, this part was so weird. I was so confused for the longest time. There's Getsis with his little weird hairstyle that I don't like. Jeez, he's... no. Issue punishment. That doesn't sound very nice. Getsis is a scary man. I don't like him. He lied to his son about everything. Not very nice. What kind of father lies to his son about everything? That's just messed up. Oh, and there's Fennel. Oh, that's very cute. Like, cause you know, Muna and Musharna. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I was so, I was so confused. I didn't get any of that. Like at first, I actually thought he was like magical or something and could teleport. But then I was like, oh, he's not. That was that was Musharna. Never mind. All right. So this is that was weird. That was really weird. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get this Pokeball right here which actually is a Pokeball. Very rare. No, I don't like wild encounters. Go away. Go away. Alright. Oh, another one. I wonder, I forgot at which point we can buy repels. We can actually probably buy them right now because we have a gym badge, but we might not be able to. I forgot. I think we can, though. I will go check after this walkthrough. Okay, there's a Pokeball up there, and I feel like getting it, but at the same time, that would take some time, I think. Plus, we have to go through this grass. And, I think, more grass? No? Okay. Alrighty, what is this? A potion. So far, I think we've only found potions and, um, Pokeballs. I think we found something else, a defense, defense, um... Thingy. Oh, and we found a repel. Awesome. That is exactly what I needed, but we really don't need it right now because uh, wild encounters aren't that bad. They only get bad at some point, like when you have to go through, like, um, let's say the um, desert resort. Was that? No. No. Relic Castle Place, you know? <laughs> I can't believe I'm forgetting all these terms. Anyway, yeah. That was fast. Okay. Goodbye, Patrot. Thank you for the battle. We are now level 16. We're actually getting pretty close to evolution. So, that was fast. That was very fast. I have never gone to evolution that fast before. It's probably just because I'm, you know, trying to uh, have my Pokemon be at a really high level so that we don't lose anything. Alright, so that would, that would be it for this walkthrough. Um, I'll see you all next time where we talk to Fennel and go on to the next route. So thank you all for watching. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.